guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to life with you for me and if you're new here welcome so it's another episode of tea talks but today i will be talking about myself um because a while back i asked um people on my instagram to ask me questions so i'm doing a get to know me i've never done this on my channel before so for everyone on here you will know me today so yeah i have the questions on here yeah and i'll answer each and every one of them truthfully so let's go first question says how do you unwind so um i'll say i do my skincare i own my ring light i stay on my bed either i read a book listen to music or scroll on tiktok for hours that's basically how i unwind and same thing else i do to be honest and sleep <laughs> i don't think i have any other way that's how i unwind okay someone says your love life i don't know what that means but maybe you mean if i'm in a relationship or not i am if that's your question another person says what is your favorite tv show and why if you know me you know that i don't really watch tv shows but i actually like to good working moms and i also like this is us should i tell you why because those are the like two most recent tv shows i have watched so that's the only thing that comes to mind right now i was school school is fine i can't wait to be done by december in jesus name i'll be done god please but even though people tell me that outside world is not nice but also i'm just tired you know yeah what is it like being tofu me what is it like being me to be honest when people talk about me i'm like is that really me is that really me? but i said that um a christ lover um when i say i'm focused i'm a bit focused i am an observer i love people i try to work on myself what am i even saying but um what is it i love people i like my space i've been around people when i want to and i love creating content i don't know if that actually answers the question but yeah that's what it's like um how was your relationship with god being hmm i love i love this question and i'll say my relationship with god has been the best thing ever i am so so grateful that i said yes to god and i would never ever for once say that i regret saying yes to god to be honest the journey isn't easy because i feel like um when you're not in god right when you are like doing things of the world you think you are okay and all of that but when you start like loving god when you start forming a relationship with god there are just some parts of you that like god will show you and like oh i need you to work on this i need you to do this and i need you to do that but yeah my relationship with god has been great so so f i mean so far hmm fun fact that no one knows about you so i would say in ss2 or ss3 yeah i'll say ss2 or ss3 i used to take like piano lessons and my piano or keyboard lesson teacher used to teach me how to sing and then there was this day when i was singing at home and my dad goes oh who is that person singing and i was like it's tough for me because it was only like four of us my dad my, yeah four of us in the house that time and my voice was good for a minute so i used to sing and only my dad my mom my brother my yeah only four of us knew about this yeah basically what's your major i study marketing in school is there someone in your life yes there are lots of people in my life jesus my friend everybody there's someone in my life <laughs> what is your dream job mm. playful me would actually sound to be a housewife but actually that have a dream job i think my dream job will be to own a non government organization um an ngo and also like a charity home type thing um just to give to others i think that would be my dream job also housewife wink wink um someone says are you an extrovert or an introvert i am an i'm 
extrovert i don't know if i pronounced it well but i am in the middle extrovert when i'm with my guys introvert when i'm with people i do not know because i don't just like talking anyhow in front of people i do not know not even talking anyhow but i just like to observe then when i get to know you i see if i like you if i don't like you and all of that that is my own personality what is your love language my love language is receiving gifts honestly i think i like everything in a particular level but i like receiving gifts i like it when my friend will be like oh this thing reminded me of you i feel like it's a cute gesture it doesn't even have to be anything deep you can buy me um maybe a journal because maybe i've been talking about a journal for a minute right yeah so that's my main love language then next one i would say is quality time this used to be my this used to be one of my worst love languages but i try like spending time with people that i love then um um act of service oh i actually love it when people help me do stuff some days i like doing my things by myself then act of service then there is um words of affirmation mm, i don't know like let me tell you guys i'm a bit ash on myself like not ash but i talk to myself in like a serious manner like some days i'm easy on myself and some days i'm like woman you can't keep sleeping you have to stand up so when people are trying to like talk to me sweet i'm just like no 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 this cannot really work some days and physical touch is the least for me keep your space keep your personal space thanks do you love someone yes i love everybody i love my boyfriend i love jesus i love my mom i love my dad i love everybody so yeah i love someone hmm why did you make the decision to follow christ that's the next question on here hmm i think if you watch my like my christian salvation thingy story you know that i said i didn't have like any down bad like oh I, like god saved me when i was depressed or something but i just felt like i used to live my life like without purpose right i just felt like every day you wake up walk wake up walk nothing else to do but god actually gave me purpose and i felt like there was just something drawing me always to god right i didn't have, i don't have a particular reason well and i chose god also because he chose me first but there was something always drawing me to god which is the holy spirit i would say so yeah that's why i chose god first i mean i chose god because he chose me first what's my fifth thing to eat mm let me tell you guys something my favorite thing to eat actually changes like almost every time first it will be rice and stew you know that fried stew that you have like tiny pieces of meat like i'll put everything pomo shaki cat beef they'll put crayfish they'll you know that type of thing that used to be my favorite food before then switch to jollof rice then um then pasta but right now i'm getting tired of pasta but pasta is still my number one love so i do not have a fifth thing to eat from this story that i just said um what's my fave bible verse i think my first bible verse would be john 14 verse 27 i'm not sure but i put it somewhere here and it just talks about how the peace jesus gives to us is not the same peace the world will give to us and that's so so profound because like whatever jesus gives to you the world cannot give to you love like it is not the same compared to how the world will give it to you love grace mercy everything you know how people cancel people jesus would never cancel you so everything god gives to me the world cannot give me the same thing so yeah that's why that's my favorite bible verse um if you could move anywhere in the world where would you go to you guys think about your life a lot i genuinely don't think about some things like this but if i am supposed to i'll move to a warm country warm city that's all i don't know where but just somewhere warm what made you start youtube so um i think when i did my first video i was like oh i started youtube because i used to be like oh hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel but that's not the main reason i started youtube because i was looking for a 
channel to put all my creativity together so this time last year right i was thinking like i used to post pictures on my instagram then i wanted to make reels but everything was just clashing i wanted to put fashion i wanted to do everything but i didn't find the perfect channel but then i started this youtube channel and i'm like yeah i can yeah this is the right thing so that is why i started my youtube channel right but you guys i know that i've not given fashion content that much just wait for it yeah what motivates you um the end goal i'm not motivated by like oh i do not want to feel i'm motivated by where i am going to right and i don't just lose focus that's the main thing i look at the life i want for myself i look at the life christ wants for me i look at the life that i just want for people around me and i'm like we have to work towards this there is no slacking so that's what motivates me um what are your hobbies so literally if i answered this question like a month ago i would say nothing nothing but now i would say i like painting but i leave it to like sundays which is like my alone time where i just paint and listen to a podcast i like reading books i like just like listening to music i don't know if that is a hobby right but it's something i enjoy doing also and what else i love editing and i love filming even though it's like a form of work but it's something i enjoy doing um are you in a relationship yes i'm in a relationship with christ all the <laughs> what else should i be in a relationship with i'm joking but yeah i'm in a relationship <laughs> um someone said how are you mentally and to be honest i'm very good i'm very good there are bad days obviously but i am good and i'm so grateful to god for that would you like to live in canada forever based on me oh nope but based on god who knows the main thing about it is that i just look at myself how disorganized i am during winter i was like i can be happy today during winter and sad the next day and i'm just like do i want to like raise kids in this weather where like i'm going through it they are going through it like i don't know but that's the main reason why like, i don't really like canada that much to that i want to stay for long term top five clothing brand zara 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 <laughs> i'm joking but yeah zara is my number one h and m i just shopped from princess poly a few days ago with my friend i don't know if they are good but i'll put them also where else do i shop i wouldn't say sheen because um they don't give me what i want said that anymore so i'll just stop with those three i mean i'll stick with those three yeah i don't think i have any other like place i shop from um birthday plan so in case you guys do not know my birthday is april 5th and i'll be turning 20 <laughs> and i'll be turning 20 so yeah the big 20 do i have any plans no but i think i just want to spend it relaxing enjoying myself and reflecting on what i've been doing recommend one movie to watch watch passion of christ <laughs> please no i don't know i don't know don't answer me actually watch passion of christ you see what christ did for you even though it wasn't christ that was there but i don't have any movie to watch i'm sorry i don't watch movies like that how did you meet your boyfriend i met my boyfriend in secondary school what do you love about being a christian i love that i have a jesus actually i have jesus that can sympathize with me i love the community christianity has given me i love the assurance god gives me um what else do i like i love that when i am sad when i'm in trouble i know there's someone i can run to and not run away from i love a lot i love the life christ has given to me basically um what church do you attend i attend lighthouse church ottawa and if you're in ottawa you're looking for a church where young people are come yeah you are most definitely welcomed what is your favorite restaurant in ottawa and nigeria so when i was in nigeria i don't think i actually tried a lot of restaurants so i won't answer that question based on nigeria but in ottawa i like mati mati is a nice restaurant yeah your standard starbucks order hmm first year to for me would say um what's that thing called 
caramel frap calistyle caramel frappuccino and double smoked bacon but right now i don't take caramel frap anymore so i'll just say double smoked bacon and any drink i feel like taking the strawberry drink i'll put it somewhere i've forgotten the name so last question says i should talk about my trips to other country um <clears throat> My trips to other country so i've only been to london ghana canada oh that's sad oh and dubai yeah that's actually sad oh that's sad well to be honest they were nothing deep because i was actually young when i went not young but compared to now i wasn't that old right so nothing deep my mom was our like main tourist guide so what my mom likes doing that's what we do and guess what we used to go and we used to shop then there'll be now a fake activity day that's all so that has been like my trip to all like other countries right but i don't have any like particular thing about it but yeah i really hope you guys you know know some stuff about me uh -uh. i tried now i spilled all the tea i spilled all the tea but yeah thank you guys for watching the video to the very very end i hope you really liked the video do not forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you on the next one bye for now